guys and welcome back to the Morgan factory. I have a super fun upcycled top tutorial for you guys today. It involves a flannel or the shirt of your choice. It does not have to be a flannel top as long as it has sleeves. And then we're going to use a, um, a big rectangle of fabric. This can be a scrap that you have. Um, this can, this is a, uh, just a big piece of fabric, but you can use a tablecloth or a curtain or even like a crocheted blanket, um, a quilt top, something like that would be so cute. And then I'm going to take some scrap fabric to use for pockets. So if you want to learn how to make this, keep on watching. We are going to start with our flannel. Now remember, this can be any top that you want as long as it has sleeves. I'm just going to flatten it out. I'm cutting all the layers right here. So straight from the bottom and once I hit this pocket, I'm going to make a curve all the way to the collar. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and line up the sleeves, cut those bad boys off. I'm gonna save the cuffs for another project. Okay, this is gonna be our middle of the top. So we want a wide enough rectangle to go from shoulder to shoulder, bigger if you want a dropped arm, and remember the length that you want. Here I'm just cutting multiple layers at once to save a lot of time. Now for the pockets, this is a scarf. This is a very fragile material, so I'm actually going to use two layers of this material for the pockets just to, so that it's reinforced and you can actually use the pockets. Look at that fringe, it's so cute. We are going to place our pockets about two inches from the hemline of the top and we are going to take it to our straight stitch machine and we are going to sew that inner corner and the bottom so it is open along the top and the side because we are about to take this to our serger and starting at the front of the top at the hem we are just going to serge all the way down. Now for our neckline this is probably the most important step that you learn from this tutorial. I'm going to fold my neckline in half and it's about a, I don't know, 12 inch circumference around your neck. And you're going to want to cut a curve. Now you can make this more of like a boat neck. You can make it a low scoop. You, it's really up to you. You just want to make sure that where you start right here, it's a right angle. And then wherever you curve it out, it ends at a right angle. See right there? So mine is going to be a little bit more of a boat neck and less of a scoop. I have a spandex material right here. Now you can use like a just a knit fabric like the bottom of a t-shirt that would work great. This is going to be our collar. Now it is important that whenever you're cutting this collar band it is a couple inches shorter than the circumference of your hole for your neckline because what that is going to allow it to do it's going to allow it to stretch to the neckline and it's going to lay really nice and flat so i am just going to line it up and i am going to cut just a tad bit less
Here you can see that whenever we fold our collar in half, it is gonna stretch so nicely to our neckline. So I'm going to take this to the serger immediately, serge it together, and then we're gonna fold it in half. And here I am sewing it onto the actual top. I lined up the center back with the seam and then I just held it in place where the center front of the collar and the center front of the top were. And that's gonna ensure that everything is just evenly sewn. Now, your top might be a lot longer in the back. Um, rule of thumb for me, if it's anywhere less than two inches, I'm gonna hem it straight to the bottom of the flannel. If it is longer, then I'm probably just gonna wanna hem it and keep it a lot longer. The decision's really up to you. Where the flannel and the hem of the top meet, I am just going to back tack a couple times to ensure that it is sewn very well. Always snip your threads. And here I am hemming the back of the top. Always fold in where your serger is. It just, it leaves such a nice finish. The last step is to top stitch your collar. This is gonna allow all the seam allowances to lay flat and give you a really nice neckline. Take your time doing this. I'm using my zipper foot but an eighth of an inch to a fourth of an inch is good. Well, once again, I am absolutely ecstatic about this new upcycle top. I hope this inspires you guys to revamp your own wardrobe if you do please tag me in it i would absolutely love 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 to see your creations and until next time